Okay guys, quick view here of the new Cisco ASA. Um, now, you've seen the 5506s before. Let's kind of show you the right. So it's like a 5506, but instead of having like a separate firepower module, this has got the threat defense on it. Um, I just set it up. So I want to show what the pages look like. This is <laughs> this is way different. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. So first of all, there's no ASDM. It's just a web page. You can hover over stuff. You get graphs. This is the system. Monitoring. Policies. Objects. And then device. And you got your Overview. Policies, users, applications, signatures, web categories, top desktop. Now I haven't activated any any you know pay stuff. No intrusion detection or anything. This is just I haven't even set any policies or anything. It's just just showing you the screens here. You can see what it looks like. So this is uh, going down the list here. And sorry about the screen here. I wasn't like a last second thing. I go, well, a lot of people haven't seen it, so I thought I would show you. screen now when you use stuff it actually downloads it see this little download thing here so I guess if you don't use something it doesn't it doesn't load it into memory and stuff the objects network port security zones application filters like I said I haven't I haven't really loaded anything this is just the way it is out of the box here some the block URLs and stuff what would happen if I block cisco.com if it blocks breaks the unit anyway geolocations I just added the United States in there I don't know if there's really a need for this to add these in here thought it doesn't by default but you can add a location so you just start typing again so let's type in uh, I don't know Canada Canada eh I think I just type the first letter let me see it's not. So I'll have to click North America. Oh, and then I'll be able to select Canada. Hmm. I think it's all checked because I clicked on that. Let me try that again. Let's see here and click on there. Well, <clears throat> when I was, I went to a class on something, but it was way different. Way, way, way different. And, uh, I'll tell you what, these are, these buttons work a lot better than it used to. Looked like when I selected Canada, I was able to select a province in there. So here's the United States. Let me just see something here on the U.S. I'm going to click on the little edit tool here. Uh, let's see what I clicked in there. Okay, add another one. Let's just see Europe. Oh no, I guess, okay. I thought I could go into 
per the breakdown of it. But anyway, so that's that's cool. Anyway, uh, well, I learn more as I go along. I might show another thing if something you want to see. I'll tell you one thing, man. I I made a mistake on this thing setting it up. I used a console cable. And I did something, and I jacked this thing up big time. I had to reprogram IP addresses back on management ports and stuff. And the whole smart license was kind of a pain in the ass, too. There's a little video on it, and you just got to take your time and go through it. Um, I do this stuff for work, so I, I didn't want to associate anything with my company. So I created a new CCO account and everything. I don't know if I had to do that or not, but I just want to take any chances. I can always move this stuff over, I guess. Anyway, let's see. To show you, here's the firewall device. Shows the ports. I think I already showed you this stuff. Um, you can view the configuration. Oh, that'll be interesting. Update now. The rules. Hmm. System upgrade. That's interesting. Anyway, talk to you later.